Hello, welcome to Ancient Art of Fishing. We're going to talk about where flathead catfish, because you know, like flathead catfish is one of the, if not the fish I hunt the most, the giant flatheads. Been pretty successful this summer, got at least one or two. Uh, we're going to talk about on the southern Wisconsin rivers and maybe some central Wisconsin rivers, where do flatheads actually go to? Like you want to be downstream of these spots if you're fishing for flathead catfish. Let's actually start with the biggest river in Wisconsin, the Wisconsin River. Now, generally, flatheads go pretty far north in the Wisconsin, all the way to ne below Nakusa Dam. Now, I have heard of people catching them at Stevens Point and slightly above Nakusa Dam, but they are very far and few between, and I don't really know if those are just misidentified channels or actual big flatheads. But generally, um, you don't find too many of them, if any at all, above Nakusa Dam. And Nakusa is the dam that is actually above Petenwell. So, in Petenwell Lake, Castle Rock Lake, and below, they're there. But above Nakusa, you will be hard-pressed to find them. I actually think they're a lot more common once you get uh, below Castle Rock Dam. But uh, generally, they go up all the way to Nakusa. On the rock, Watertown. And it's the first dam at Watertown. Between the first, second, and third dams, there are flatheads, and there are many places actual for flatheads. Above Watertown, I have heard people say they try to fish the brush piles, all they get is bullheads. And if there's a lot of bullheads there, there are no flatheads because um, if there are flatheads, then they would just eat the bullheads if they were there. So generally in a place where there's a lot of flatheads, there are very few bullheads. Like you will actually find a couple of bullheads here and there if there are flatheads, but generally not too many. So I have heard of someone actually um, catching a 20 pounder uh, at Horicon before near the source of the Rock River. But generally, um, there might be a couple of strays in Horicon or Mississippi, but generally, like, you don't really start seeing them until Watertown. And, like, when you get past Watertown, that they're actually fairly common. Like, I've caught them at Johnson's Creek, Jefferson, Fort Atkinson, you know, and further down as well. At this, for the Pecatonica River, there's two branches of the Pecatonica River. The um, east branch and the main branch. I think the main branch that flows through, like, Calumet and Darlington, it almost has flatheads the entire way. I personally did catch one at Darlington, so I know they're there. And while I was there, I was talking to someone, he actually caught a 20 pounder at Calumet, which is a couple of miles upstream. So essentially like once you get into Lafayette County on the main branch of the Pecatonica, they're there. And there's really no question about that. On the east branch of the Pecatonica, I have a feeling they don't get above the Argyle Dam because that is just like a big dam that you really can't get across. On the main branch of the Pecatonica in Wisconsin, there really aren't any dams, so they can just go all the way up. So essentially, like on the main branch, as long as you get as long as you stay in Lafayette County, I think you are pretty good and there will be flatheads in that water. Um, if you're on the east branch, you want to be below Argyle Dam. The Sugar River, um, Decatur Dam. Now, Decatur Dam is like a Decatur Dam is actually um, an interesting place because it splits the river into two at Decatur, if you actually look at this. So essentially there's like this, this like off flow which actually goes through town and then there's this branch that kind of like just sneaks through town too but in a different way. So there are flatheads below Decatur, I've actually seen them there. Um, and above in Decatur, I've really never seen them. I'm trying to catch one at Albany above the dam. I have not been successful yet. But uh, generally below Decatur Dam, uh, there are flatheads. I've seen people hook into them. That's not the best, below the dam I don't think is the best place to fish for them. But generally like in this, on this branch below the dam, they're all, all, um, all across the side. Over here, actually on this branch that flows through town, I've caught a ton of channels on, um, you know, from Decatur Dam to Headgates Park and then all the way to downtown uh, Broadhead and Broadhead Spillway. There's, the channels are all, all across here, but I have actually never caught a, a flathead before uh, you hit Broadhead Spillway. So I think on this particular branch, you have to, wait, you have to be below Broadhead Spillway. Um, whereas essentially on the other branch, you just have to be below Decatur Dam because it splits the river into two. And I know like uh, they're not that uncommon once you get below Broadhead Spillway and once you get below Decatur Dam. On the crawfish, it's Danville Mill Pond, uh, Danville uh, Mill. That is, this is one place like below the um, dam is one place you will find both bullheads and flatheads. I've caught both uh, there before. There, I haven't caught a big flathead at Danville, but I have caught you know, like five, six pound flathead at Danville. So they are there. I've never seen a flathead above Danville on the crawfish. 
if you're talking about the Beaver Dam River, um, generally there are no flatheads in downtown Beaver Dam. Um, I've seen one below Lowell Dam, but they're pretty uncommon there. Uh, and generally, like, as you get closer to the Crawfish River, there's going to be more and more of them. The Yahara, as far as I know, I've never actually seen a flathead on the Yahara. They, they're not present within the Madison chain. Um, and the only place on the Yahara I've actually seen flatheads is essentially very, very close to the confluence with the rock. I've never really seen a flathead on the Yahara anywhere except for the confluence of the rock. If I had to put off a huge cutoff point, it would be Dunkirk Dam because Dunkirk is the first major dam on the Yahara. But the Yahara is so small and narrow until it gets to the confluence of the rock. Even at Merwin, when it's like pretty close to the confluence of the rock, it's still a pretty small river. So the flatheads may just not swim up the Yahara all that far, if at all. So the Yahara, if you want to fish for flatheads, you should pick another river for the most part. Uh, the Northern Fox River. Now there's two Fox Rivers. One's a tributary of the Illinois River, that's in the south. And one is a uh, tributary of Green Bay, that's in the north. Now the Fox River has two branches. We're going to talk about the southern branch of the Northern Fox River because the northern branch is the Wolf River and I'm not really familiar with the Wolf River. Um, the actual, I think like on the Fox where they really start appearing is around Montello. Now I think it's mainly below the dam at Montello um, as it flows towards like uh, Lake Winnebago from Montello. That's when the flatheads really, really start appearing. I think I've seen one or two maybe above in Buffalo Lake but not really too much uh, upstream from like the Montello Dam, essentially. Because, um, you know, upstream from Buffalo Lake, the river is like fairly small. And, you know, when you go to like uh, Portage and Partyville, now when you get to Portage, like the Wisconsin's like two miles away. So don't mistake the Fox for the Wisconsin. There's plenty of flatheads in the Wisconsin at Portage. Um, I don't think there are flatheads in the Fox at Portage. And the thing is like at Partyville, it's very, very small. So I highly doubt there's going to be too many flatheads in there, or if any at all. So I would say like on the northern Fox River, Montello, you want to be downstream of Montello Dam to really catch the flatheads. And last of all, but not least of all, the southern Fox River, um, I, I think I know for a fact that they are below the uh, dam uh, at Burlington, uh, but I do think they go up a little bit further than that. I think the... I think the point where the flathead cut off is like Rochester Dam. You want to be below the dam at Rochester. Um, I haven't really heard of too many flatheads above Rochester Dam. So those are kind of like the points in on certain rivers where you want to be like downstream from if you want to catch flatheads. Once again, on the Wisconsin, you want to be downstream of Nakusa Dam. On the Rock, you want to be downstream of the first dam at Watertown. On the Pecatonica, uh, if you're on the main branch of the Peck, pretty much the entire river is fine. But if you're on the east branch of the pack, you want to be below Argyle then. Um, yeah, you want to be below Argyle. On the sugar, you want to be either below Decatur Dam or below Broadhead Spillway. On the crawfish, you want to be below Danville. Just don't fish on the Yahara for flatheads. On the northern fox, you want to be uh, downstream of Montello Dam. And the southern fox, you probably want to be uh, downstream of Rochester Dam. So like, those are kind of like the landmarks you need to actually look for if you are wanting to fish for flatheads in the southern Wisconsin area. I didn't really cover the Milwaukee area because I'm not very familiar with the Milwaukee River. I know there are plenty of flatheads in the Milwaukee River, by the ways, but I just don't really know how far they go up. So uh, let me know um, if I'm wrong on any of these, if you've caught any huge flatheads above these certain cutoffs. I know there are a couple on the Wisconsin above Nakusa, but um, generally, like, people would want to fish below Nakusa for these flatheads. So uh, let me know what you think, and if you have any more information, put it in the comments. Thank you, everyone, and have a nice day.